cool. That's neat. Good afternoon. I'm Spencer. You're watching Moto Scout, but you already knew that because you know how to read. Hopefully. It's a beautiful afternoon here in Washington. My wife's out of town, so I decided I'd go explore. I haven't ridden in a couple days, and there's this dam called the Winucci Dam uh, out west from me towards the coast. I live in Tacoma, and I decided I would go check it out. Uh, apparently it's pretty popular with the local motorcyclists around here, so, you know, what's the harm? Hello, officer. And right along? Nope, you're not an officer. You're one of those guys. You're one of those guys that buys an auctioned, decommissioned police vehicle and thinks it's funny to drive it around. This dam's about a two-hour scoot down I-5. Uh, up this road. It's pretty much right at the edge of the Olympic National Forest. Park, forest, whatever. So I figured we'd go check it out. I've lived here in Washington for three years now and I'm still kind of like discovering all the things that Washington has to offer. It's endless. You know, you have your obvious Rainier National Park and Mount Hood. Wait, is Mount Hood in Oregon or Washington? Anyway, there's stuff to do everywhere. So I figured, you know, on these days that I don't have a lot going on and feeling like riding, I just pick a spot that I want to see uh, that preferably has some cool roads that lead to it and go check it out. The highway slog isn't so bad though because there's a stretch of Highway 8 that's, uh, that's pretty fun. It's a little four lane highway, it kind of bends and twists. Uh, it's not too crazy, but it's at least a little entertaining and not particularly high traffic. But before we hit I-5, we're going to grab some gas. Uh, I think I can make it, but I want to be sure. And then uh, we'll hit the road. We have to drive right through Olympia, so hopefully we don't hit any traffic. You do? Yeah. Nice. The first year they came out with them again. Really? Yeah. I just got this this year. It's uh, pretty awesome. Well, they're kick ass. Yeah. Well, we made it to Aberdeen. This is a very weird town. I've never been here. Seems quaint-ish. A nice man approached me at the gas station. I really want to take pictures in front of that. Super cool. I love abandoned stuff. I don't know why. I just think it's cool. It was super hot when I left my house, but now that we're down here and we're closer to the water, or I guess over here, we're not really down, we're over to the west, it's pretty cold. I mean, it's not like unbearable, but I did put my hoodie on. 32 miles. Off we go. I think this first stretch is kind of boring, so we'll see. On the highway here, there was a pretty gnarly headwind. I'm still getting it a little bit. I'm only going 50 and I'm feeling a, quite a bit of resistance and feeling a lot of, or hearing a lot of wind noise in my helmet. So, uh, something I did not consider when I left. Some wind. But it was quite miserable. There's no fairings on this bike, so you feel every mile per hour. Line crest. Sick. 
Looks like it's all farmland and stuff. I wouldn't mind having like a plot of land, you know? Man, it's getting chilly. Should have worn my leathers. See, that house looks like it's gonna be sick. Tight. Fresh pavement. That's good. Not yet. Sick old barn. section up here so I will not follow <sighs> well you're turning but you're not and that makes me sad big sad About as farmhouse as it gets. How's it going? Oh. Go ahead. Go ahead. Crazy. Don't text and drive, kids. Glad he was okay. So tight.
flowers, you know? Cool, I can't see fucking dog or shit. Looks like we are here. Why does the sun dips behind the foreign mountain? Beautiful. That was a f super fun road. Nice smooth turns. Road was super well kept. Super fun. Downside is I gotta do it on the way back in the dark. Because it got dark way sooner than I thought it was going to. I guess it's not really dark yet. I'm also wearing sunglasses, so. This is a neat little windy road. Ooh. Cool. That's neat. Let's have a look-see. It's a long ways down. I suppose that's where the water comes out. Let's see what else we can find. What's over here? Nothing. Well, I think there's a thing over there, like a, a viewing deck. Woo! Let's see what's over here. Day use. Oh, I think I've been here before. But it was all gravel when I came here. Yeah. 9pm. Yeah, and it was f***ing packed. I remember this now. I have been here. Did you so? Wow. Very nice. A lot of people live over here. Well, that's neat. Let's see what else we can find. It looks like you can boat in it and stuff. Oh, yeah, there's a boat launch over there. I want to find this little viewing deck. I saw it on the internet, and I want to look at it. I think it's down here. Ew. Okay, let's see what we can see. It looks like something straight out of the 70s. James, like, Goldeneye, you know, the Nintendo game? Nintendo 64? Restrooms. This is nice. Cool. Are those windows you can go down there? And the water, like, pours over you? That would be pretty cool. Or is that where the water comes out? Is it there or there? Maybe that's overflow? 
Well, that was cool. The road was worth the drive. I'm glad I saw this though. I, I feel like I have been here before, but it was just in passing with a friend. We didn't stay because it was packed. Uh, but I'm gonna start heading back now. It's getting dark and I'm going to get absolutely demolished by bugs. So I'm gonna start heading back, but thanks for hanging out. Hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed this ride. I hope you did too. And we'll see you on the next one. No idea if that did anything. All right. What? No, I'm going the wrong way. Whoopsie. You turn on gravel. <laughs> clutch, clutch.